Arcade here. Today I wanted to give you a preview of the upcoming update for the DX software. Um, for those of you that have a DX game board, I will be offering um, a new USB drive for sale that has the updated software, which fixes a lot of things and gives you the possibility to add a few more systems if you want. So let's take a quick look and I'll go over some of the updates. So a few of the things that it does is it fixes the aspect ratio. Right now it's set on 16.9, it's widescreen. The, uh, this fix makes the aspect ratio 4.3, which is your normal square size you would see in an arcade cabinet. Um, it fixes the button mapping for some of the games, such as the fighting games. Um, it gives the option to do a new scan line filter, um, which looks a lot better than the old one. And I was able to add a loading video and a little logo up here as well. But uh, let's bring it in and I'll give you a closer look at some of the features. So there's a new loading screen. And then now if you notice, it's in 4-3 ratio versus widescreen. Some people like the widescreen because uh, it uses your entire screen, but other people don't like the fact that it can stretch out your image a little bit. So this automatically fixes the aspect ratio on the majority of the games. And then I'm not sure how visible it is right now, but this does have the new scan line filter applied. And then I'll show you that it now has the button mapping fixed. Um, first, you want to go into your settings menu and remap the buttons. So the top row is A, B, C, and the bottom row is D, E, F. But now if you look, your top row is punches, your bottom row is kicks. So that's a lot better for the fighting games where you really need those buttons in the correct order. And if you can see, you can see the little scan lines right here and all through there. And scan lines uh, try to recreate the original CRT scan lines, so it tries to make it look a little more original. So there's a couple of the big fixes right there. And here's another feature that I forgot to talk about with the Pandora mod. Um, you can set it up so you can see the attract modes of the different games. Normally when you, in a real arcade cabinet, when you start it up, it has attract mode. It displays different things and cycles through parts of the game and whatever before you put in your quarters. Um, the regular Pandora's Box DX is set up so when you start it up it automatically inserts quarters so it skips those screens. So here's an example. So this is the attract mode that you normally wouldn't see in the regular Pandora box DX. And then you still just press start to get started and then it'll kick forward to the, the screen that you're used to seeing. So we'll show you one more.
and it'll sit here and play through the attract mode until you press the start button, which is the equivalent of entering quarters. It's kind of neat, kind of brings you back to what real arcades were like, real arcade machines were like when you were in a big arcade, walking around and looking at them and stuff and before you played. I forgot to share one more added feature with the Pandori mod is you can set it up to play music in the background of the game selection screen. And for my arcade, I chose to put in the soundtrack called Arcade Ambience or Ambience. It's a uh, part of the Ambiance project that somebody put together that they tried to recreate the sounds of different years of being in an actual arcade. So this one's called 1983, and it's supposed to be uh, real sounds from different arcades playing that would be playing or popular in uh, 1983. But you can set it up to play any music tracks you want in the background and you can also turn it off if you prefer not to have background music. I was able to add a couple of new arcade games that I think some people will be happy about. Some of the Golden Tee Golf games. So if you have a trackball on your cabinet you can play these golden tea golf games which are usually a pretty popular game uh, there is a little bug in order to start the game once you load it up you bring up your pause menu and you gotta go down to load state to set it into free play then once you do that you have golden tea the sound is a little slow in a couple of the beginning parts, but it gets right back up to normal speed once you start playing. Here's my temporary trackball. There you go, functioning golden tea games. Then we'll go ahead and exit out. And there currently is still one little bug that um, occasionally when you exit certain games, it kicks you all the way back to the beginning of the main menu versus kicking you back to where you left off in the game number count. <laughs> One of the systems that we can add is Atari 2600. Um, personally, I don't play Atari very much anymore because I don't think the graphics have aged very well, but some people like the nostalgia of playing, playing the classic Atari 2600, one of the systems that started it all. Personally, I don't think the graphics aged very well at all. But it's a system that we can add for those of you that really like the Atari 2600. And then also, we can add some Game Boy Advanced games. Regular Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and PC Engine. Not sure how people feel about having lots of console systems on their arcade, but with this mod, we can certainly add more system, more console systems than we could before. So those are the main new features um, of this mod. 
Uh, credit to, of this mod goes out to Team Pandori. Uh, they're the one who came up with the Pandori DX software mod. Um, they're a great group of guys. You should check them out on YouTube. Lots of great info on all things Pandora and arcade related. Um, so that is the major upgrades that are now available or will soon be available for the DX. Um, talk to you guys soon and I'll give you more updates and when I'm able to release this as soon as I know. All right. Game on, my friends.